Hey folks, how y'all doing? I'm doing an update on my more solar power for winter. I revamped it and I, will, uh, I readjusted everything and made everything a little bit different. So I'm going to show y'all what I did and I hope y'all like it. Alright. Alright. Right now, I'm making almost double the amount of solar amps that I was the day before yesterday. We're at 27. We're making it at uh, 27.4 volts at 5.8 amps. And I'll show you what I did different. And thank y'all for the suggestions. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. But, yeah, let's go, let's go check it out. I'll show you what I did different. And this is a Pro Star, Morningstar Pro Star 15 PWM charge controller. We're making 5.8 solar amps. And like I said, the other day at the peak, I think I made 3.1. So I'm making almost double. All right. So let's go. I'll show you what I did different. And the temperature, the conditions outside... Are 46 degrees outside, 58 degrees in here. All right. And again, that is 5.8. Oh, get a little closer. 27.4 volts. 5.8 amps, solar amps. All right. Okay, y'all. And the bigger boy, the big boys are. Making a thousand twenty watts, and the other seven hundred watt rod array that's like flat on the roof, just about. Oops, four hundred twenty watts. Y'all can see that different angle. All right, different angle. All right, let's see what we got now. 5.9, uh oh, 5.9, uh, see it again, all right, hold on, 5.8, it wants to go to 9, all right, we see 5.9, all right, we'll come back and check it out, y'all, I'm going to show you what I did different, all right, y'all ain't going to believe this mess, I took y'all's advice. I gotta go around this way. Let's go. Hey, thank y'all for giving me suggestions about the solar shade and everything. I didn't think that make that much of a difference—a chain link fence, but it sure enough did. I want to say thank y'all. And uh, you know, I think in our in Raj one. Thank you, buddy, for uh, suggesting that. And uh, Chardonnay or Scott. Thank y'all. But anyway, I redid my panels side by side. I got them at a 50, 50 degree angle right now, and they're adjustable. And I got them side by side, and they're getting full sunlight, no shading. No shading whatsoever. And I'll get stuck back a little bit. And I got a little awning over top of my window now. <laughs> uh, isn't that cool? And uh, they're flip down design, still the same design. I got hinges on both panels. Uh, hinge panels. And I got my aluminum bracket down at the bottom. There you go. And there's my, my PV cable. I got it covered. Isn't both these panels in series? So 212s and 212s will be 24 volts. All right, let me step back a little bit. My distance, it looks a whole lot better, I think. Oh yeah, now we're talking. There we go, y'all. There we go. But no shade whatsoever, and this is like 
12, it's the, this is Friday the 13th, we're making a little bit of wind power, and we're right at uh, 12.35 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, East Coast, Virginia, that is. Alright, okay, I'll, show you, I'll show you how I got them set up. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting full sun right now on all the panels. And my two new panels, my two Alt E 120 watt panels. And, uh, I am pretty happy. But this is what they look like. I got my, uh, both my copper grounds. Run to both panels. All right, and they're still adjustable. They're still foldable, and you can adjust them in the summertime. Uh, I can add more wood uh, for summertime tilt, a more flatter array tilt. And as you can see here, here's what I got. It's a T-tilt, T-bracket with one hinge up against there and here are my other hinges up here Some other hinge and these are galvanized uh, light light span Stanley galvanized I got them pop riveted pop riveted to the bottom of my panels and they work really good and I got a layer of silicone underneath of there for electrolysis issues. And uh, I see these are two 120 watt panels. And let me climb underneath here. And there's where I got my my cable, my PV covered and going to each panel. Kind of neatened up a little bit. And here is my copper grounds on each that panel and on that panel and they're going down there there you go and this one right here my copper ground and it's going down down and down right there okay and these panels are fully adjustable in a 53 degree angle in Virginia reading my solar handbook that is like a good all year round angle for solar panels and uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how they work. Just take that T, flip it up. And there we go. They are down. And this, the other one do the same thing. But... I'll show you. There we go. So, let's go look at, and they're getting full sun. Um, we got a little bit of an angle there. Let's see what we got now. But yeah, thank y'all so much for the ideas. 27.3 volts at 5.4 solar amps. Whoa. That's pretty good just for them. It's flat. Or, excuse me, uh, 90, uh, that'd probably be a 90 degree angle. 27.4. 5.4 solar amps. Let me kick them bad boys back up. Alright. Okay, I'm going to flip.
open back up. Alright, work with me, baby. There we go. I flipped up. As you can see. And this one's flipped up. There we go. And they're both flipped up at a 54 degree angle. Excuse me, a 50 degree angle. 53. 50 to 53 degree. 50 to 53 degree angle for year round performance. But I can adjust them any way I want to. Alright. So, yeah. Now let's look at the power we're making now. Okay. Okay, now we're at 27.4, 27 27.6, 5.4, 5.5, 5.7, 5.8. Give this a couple seconds so it catch that sun. 27.5. 5.9, whoo! Come on, let's see six amps. Six amps will double my what I was doing. Come on. Anyway, one second, y'all. 5.9. All right. We're right at 5.9. I'm missing six amps, so we're we're doubling our power. All right. Well, I got a, a right at six amps. So anyway, I just want to thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Y'all can find me on Facebook, Skype, or either uh, Google Plus. Hey, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Over and out. Bye bye.